everybody welcome back to my channel I'm Andrea it's nice to have you guys here today today I have my annual what I am giving for Christmas video I'm filming this just before Christmas I'm getting ready to pack all the gifts up to take them back over to my parents house so that I can wrap them all before the big day so I have gifts for my mom and my dad and my sister they're the main people I shop for friends I think for a lot of us we're just kind of waiting until we can finally get together in person and treat each other to lunches and dinners and things like that. So I went in on a gift with my mom for my aunt, but other than that, everything I shop for is for my immediate family. And then for my mom, I do the shopping for both me and for my dad. So some of the gifts are for my mom from me and some of the gifts are for my mom from my dad. But since I did the shopping, I'm going to include them in this video because in a way they're also gifts from me as well as from my dad. I'm going to take my Santa hat off because despite it being an unusually cloudy day today, it is still 64 degrees so it's not that cold outside and in my sweater I'm a bit warm so we don't need a nice cozy Santa hat as well which I added one of my reindeer pins to. It's for a little extra sparkle I will bring this over to my parents house but I don't think it's gonna be that cold over there either. It is a cloudy day. It feels a little bit wintry because it's so dark. I've got all the lights on to try to have enough light to film. It figures that one day I'm sitting down to film a designated like sit down video rather than a vlog, there's like no sunlight. Anyway, that is not what you've come to this video for. You've come to see all the lovely gifts that I am giving to my family. I'm gonna start with my sister because she's kind of the easiest person. First, Amazon gift card. You can never go wrong with these. I know that she has a vast Amazon list, a wish list that she was going to send me so that I could just order items for her straight from there, but she never got around to it. So I thought, I know she's got a wish list. I'm going to get her an Amazon gift card. So I got her that, $25. Then if you were watching Vlogmas, you saw that I had placed, I placed it on Thanksgiving. So that was Vlogmas day two was one of the pre-filmed videos I did. I placed a big order with the historic royal palaces in the UK. So on for Black Friday, they were offering free international shipping on an order of 100 pounds or more. So I had a look. I found some things that I liked, and so you saw that as part of Vlogmas, um, the gifts to myself. And in that vlog, I mentioned that there were more things that, that were in that order that were gifts. So I got some things for my sister, for my mom, and for my dad as part of that order. So for my sister, she loves crosses, and so every time my mom and I go shopping somewhere, whether we're just like in Bisbee or Tombstone, somewhere like that, or if we're abroad, we will look for crosses to add to her collection. And so she's got wall hangings, but then I found an ornament. It's just a really beautiful fabric and embroidery and beaded cross Christmas tree ornament. Of course, she could hang this on the wall. She could hang this somewhere all year round or put it on her tree or both. So I got her that. And then I also got her, this is actually a gift for my dad. So you'll, you'll see this again in a second, but I got both of them this t-shirt that says dress to kill and then it's got some imagery of I think it's Henry VIII's armor collection so we've got a suit of armor and some swords and spears and things like that and I just thought that was really funny my mom saw this she didn't order it mentioned it later that afternoon to my dad and he was like oh I'd wear that so that was when I was like okay maybe I should try to order something initially I wasn't going to so I got my sister one as well because my sister thought it was a cute t-shirt as well and so I got one for each of them. And then I also am giving my sister this hat that I made. I think I made this last winter and I've kind of had it like hanging around. Um, it's made out of this variegated yarn. So it goes from like a white to a light gray to a medium gray and then back to white. It's got, I don't know if you'll be able to see. 
It's got just a hint of shimmer in the yarn. It's just a very subtle, it should, it's more visible um, in person. And then I had bought these faux, pom, faux fur pom-poms, so I stuck one on there, and I think that will be really cute for her. I made her a hat last year. She really liked it. She's still living down in Sierra Vista where it does get colder, so I think she'll be able to use that. So that is what I got my sister. Um, now we'll shift over to dad and then we'll end with all of mom's gifts. So for my dad, I also got him an Amazon gift card. I never know what to get my dad. He is notoriously difficult to shop for. He is almost impossible to shop for. You can let me know if you have family who are the same. So I am always like left to just get him whatever I think would be nice. The only gift cards he really spends anymore are Amazon cards. So I got him the same t-shirt. It's just such a funny kind of thing and it's right up his alley as retired military and he was in armor an armor division so obviously not suits of armor like armored battle tanks but still like the armor thing is kind of funny for him then i got him two sweatshirts which i got him just because he always wears sweatshirts at this time of year. He gets cold really easily. It's not that cold here, but he gets cold really easily. He wears sweatshirts. So, but every time I'm over, he's always wearing like the same one. My mom was saying he only has like one or two. So he just wears the same one all the time, but that he would wear different ones if he had more. So I thought, okay, this is perfect. So I got him a navy, nice long sleeve sweatshirt. It just is kind of a straight down to the bottom very kind of soft and snugly on the inside but it's also a thinner weight so it's not super heavy so i think that will be really good for here in arizona he can wear a long sleeve t-shirt underneath if he wants a little bit of extra warmth but it'll give him just that little bit of warmth and coziness even when it's not that cold outside so i got him the blue because he looks good in navy and then i got him this kind of army khaki green. I feel like navy and, and army green is kind of his two main colors. So also very kind of soft and snugly on the inside. I'm excited for him to open those. And then I finished out his gifts with a bottle of Hendrix gin. Dad loves a good gin and tonic and he really likes Hendrix but it is one of the more expensive gins. So, so he doesn't often splurge on it. So I do try to get him a bottle for Christmas just so that he can have his Hendrix GNTs as a little special treat. So that's dad taken care of. Now it's time for mom's gifts. I always go all out on mom's stuff. So there's one thing she's getting that I don't have and that's because I'm not the one who bought it so it's not included in this because it's one of the gifts from my dad. So he bought her a pair of earrings and then I was tasked with finding the other gifts to go along with those earrings. So I'm going to start with what she is getting from me um, that are my gifts to mom. I got her this gift set from Amika. She already uses the flash product which is this pink one and she really likes it so do I so if you were watching vlogmas I did buy one of these for myself I got this from my hairstylist when I went in last to get my hair done so this comes with a mini of both the cure which is a multitask hair multitask repair treatment a mini of the flash instant shine mask these are both two fluid ounces and then it comes with a full size of the amika soul food nourishing mask so i feel like the mask alone is worth the cost of what i paid for the whole set so i was really excited about those so i think mom is going to enjoy that so a little bit of hair care for christmas then she's getting a ton of books so one of them i decided would be for me the other three are going to be from my dad so for me she's getting what happened by hillary rodham clinton this is the book about the 2016 election from hillary's perspective my mom mentioned that she wanted to read this so I kind of want to read it too, so I figured I'll get it for mom and then I can borrow it when she's done. I think she'll find this really interesting and I'm excited for her to read that. 
then one gift that hasn't arrived yet, but this is kind of one of the little gifts I've got her. I've printed it off, hoping it will arrive before Christmas for the purposes of this video and for the purposes of wrapping something. If it doesn't arrive before Christmas, I got her this little, it's a door hanger, and then it just says, do not disturb writer in work. Um, I thought she could hang this on her office door, and then hopefully we all will know to not go in if she is writing, but I thought since she is now retired and she's entering her second career as a novelist and self-published author, I thought this would be a really cute little gift to kind of commemorate her retirement and shifting into this next phase of her career. So very excited about that. Also from the Historic Royal Palaces, I got her this really, it comes in this gorgeous box. I need to take off the sale sticker, but it comes in this gorgeous box with like it's so pretty, silver and gold all over it, little crowns. So I got her this pen. So it's a porcelain pen, it's gold with the porcelain and that same, the same print that's on the box, but it's just beautiful. So she spotted this, said that she would like it, so I managed to add that to my basket before I checked out. I was really happy I could because I think she's going to really enjoy that. And then mom's getting a hand knit hat as well. So she's getting this one in brown because mom looks really good in brown. Um, so this is a nice deep chocolate brown. It's got a different cable knit pattern to it. This is kind of like a double, I don't know what they call, what you would call it, but it's like a double cable, two cables kind of woven together. And then I've got this like different multi shades of brown though for pom pom on hers. So I think that will be really cute for the next time she goes somewhere cold enough for her to wear it. Um, she's up and out, so maybe like for dog walks or something in the morning, she can wear that sometime during the winter. Now for the gifts to mom from dad, but purchased by me. So the first thing, so this is a, it's by Fujitech, and this is a cell phone tripod. So it kind of, so it looks like that. And you can put, you can also put cameras on it. Probably not too heavy of a camera, but um, my Canon would probably work on this. But it's mostly for cell phones. I got this after she sent us a very short time lapse of the hot air balloons floating across the sky out the backyard. She likes shooting time lapses, but she doesn't have a tripod. So she's got to stand there and hold it, which is really wobbly, which isn't ideal for a time lapse. And also you've got to stand there for a long time to get a time lapse, a time lapse that's a decent length. So I thought if I got her a tripod, she could just set this up, walk around the backyard with the dogs until she's got enough time that has gone, until she's been recording long enough for a decent time lapse. This also comes with a remote, but this should come with a remote. So we might, I thought we might also be able to use it to take like family pictures at Christmas time. So just a little something, but I thought she would actually get some use out of that. Then the three books that I got her, or that dad's giving her. So this one she said she wanted. She was just looking at books and was like, this would be one you could get me. It does sound really good. So another one I might borrow <laughs> later. This is Cloud Cuckoo Land by Anthony Doer. Doer? I don't know how you'd pronounce his name. But this is kind of like a fantasy, not time travel, but it's spread across different time period. So set in Constantinople in the 15th century in a small town in present-day Idaho and on an interstellar ship decades from now. Anthony Doerr's gorgeous third novel is a triumph of imagination and compassion, a soaring story about children on the cusp of adulthood in worlds in peril who find resilience, hope, and a book. So it's kind of about a book that spans all of these centuries and decades. So sounds really interesting. Definitely sounds like the type of book my mom loves to read. Then, because she loves all things British, just like me, and she likes writing, and she likes mysteries, and she likes Lucy Worsley, if you are familiar with the curator and TV presenter, Lucy Worsley. So I've got her two books by Lucy. One is A Very British Murder, The Curious Story of How Crime Was Turned Into an Art. So it is a tale of dark deeds and guilty pleasures, a riveting investigation into the British soul by one of our finest historians. So I think mom's gonna really enjoy that one. And then I got her The Art of the English Murder. So this one is a unique exploration 
exploration of the art of crime and a riveting investigation into the English criminal soul by one of our finest historians. So the part one, how to enjoy a murder. Part two, enter the detective. Part three, the golden age. And then postscript, the decline of English murder. So this sounds... Okay, so I just realized these are the same book. They're the same book. So this says, as seen on TV as A Very British Murder, which is the title of this book. So these were listed as two separate listings on Amazon. I have bought her two copies of the same book. I'm keeping this one for myself. I'll give her the nicer one. This one, the illustrations are, or the pictures are in color. This one, it's all black and white. I will keep this one for myself. <laughs> I will give her the bigger, nicer one. As I was reading the backs, I'm like, wait, these are, these are exactly the same thing. The descriptions are different. The book descriptions are completely, are, are different. They sound like they're different books, but they are the same. I just looked at the table of contents and they are the same book. That is so funny. That's crazy, but that's funny. So she's getting three books then instead of four. Um, but I do think she's gonna really like this. She loves mysteries. She loves, like this gets into Agatha Christie and Sherlock Holmes. So I do think she's gonna really, really enjoy this. So the last few things, because this video now is getting long. Second to last, I got her this apron. So this is what the apron looks like. So it's got illustrations of London icons. The illustrations are by the artist Alice Tate. It's got like St. Paul's and the Tower Bridge and we've got the Tower of London. Big Ben is there kind of in the fold there. Westminster Abbey and Buckingham Palace. We've got the London Eye. So it's it's drawn like a map of London. So you've got the river and then all the different landmarks there. And I think she's gonna really like this one. I'm very excited for her to open that. This was also one we looked at a few aprons. Historic Royal Palaces had a few different aprons on their website that had different like London prints and things, but this was my favorite and it was also her favorite. And then the last thing I got for mom, I think it can be from dad, but it's gonna have like in parentheses and Andrea because it's my idea. So I don't want him to get all the credit for my good idea. So obviously with everything going on, we are not able to travel to London. And this October would have, this past October, would have been two years since our last trip at the end of 2019. We're really hoping to go to London sometime in 2022, fingers crossed. <laughs> but in the meantime, it was one of the reasons why I wanted to get her some of these kind of London and British themed gifts. But I also thought if I can't take her to London, if we can't go to London and I can't take her to Fortnum and Mason, I'm going to bring Fortnum and Mason to her. So. Thankfully, because Fortnum and Mason's shipping, international shipping, is expensive. That'd be some very expensive tea if I tried to order it straight from them. But Williams Sonoma, which is an American store, carries and stocks some Williams Sonoma food and drink items. So I got her two tins of English peppermint or English mint tea. So it made from English mint grown for Fortnum's on the Mulshinger Estate, Hampshire. Mom and I both love a good mint tea. So I think she's gonna really enjoy these. The, tea, the tins are gorgeous. She could repurpose those. And then I also got her a tin of lemon curd biscuits and a tin of salted caramel biscuits. I also thought these tins are gorgeous. I know mom, she will totally display these on her shelf after she's eaten the cookies they match her kitchen her kitchen is yellow and blue so these will look perfect in her kitchen like I said if I can't if I couldn't take her to Fortnum and Mason um, which I would have loved to have done last year or two years ago when we went we were there for her birthday and so it would have been really nice if we could have done something like that again this year or go during the holidays like that's what we had really been hoping for and unfortunately it didn't work out but 
In the meantime, I'm bringing Fortnum and Mason tea and cookies or biscuits to her, and eventually we will go to Fortnum and Mason together in London. That is it. That is everything that I have gotten for my family. I still can't believe I bought two copies of the same book. In my defense, the descriptions are different. The book descriptions and the descriptions on the Amazon webpage were different. No, I would have noticed that. I know I'm tired. I know I'm burned out. I would have caught that if they had exactly the same description. So they sounded like looking at them again. They sound different enough. You can pause and try to read that for yourself, but you can see why I didn't. The titles are different. The book descriptions are different. <laughs> It's a little irritating, but it's okay. I'll tell her the story when she opens them and we'll have a good laugh. That is everything. I'm really excited for everyone to open their gifts this year. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. I know we're kind of done with Vlogmas and I'm kind of, as you are watching this, I will be on a bit of a hiatus <laughs> from filming. All of Vlogmas should be edited and up by now. Then you'll be watching this one and then after this one there should be the what I was given for Christmas video. So I always kick it off with what I gave first because that's the most important thing. But I do like to film what I got for Christmas. So that will be coming up next. If you've enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Vlogmas is done. You can go back and watch it if you're looking for something to watch before New Year's. But there is tons of stuff coming up in 2022. I'm really looking forward to a new year on this channel. It will be my sixth year full year on YouTube and yeah April will be my sixth birthday for my channel so lots of fun stuff coming up in 2022 so if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button down below say hi and introduce yourself in the comments and yeah our question for the video because I do like including a question for you guys to answer for those of you who have made it to the end I'd like to know some of the gifts that you gave your family and loved ones for Christmas so you can let me know one or two of your favorite gifts that you gave this year I will see you all very soon in the next video. Thank you very, very, very much for watching this one. Bye!